we are back on GPUK39 from Stoke on Trent. Jordan Davis versus Bakhtar Orikil. Bakhtar coming from Birmingham. Jordan coming from New Mills. Bakhtar got a good team behind him and Team Renegade again. As you can see, their last fight had a good showing in his last fight. Yeah. Fantastic grappling there. Uh, do you believe the UFC's Tom Breeze trains out of there? And Leon Edwards. And Leon and his brother Fabian. As you can see, throwing a good crop of young fighters to go along with their pros. Sharp double leg takedown straight away from Bakhtar. Nice oh, get rid of that guillotine grip. grip. In that grip. Going for the body lock. And Healing that leg away leg from the cage. Fantastic work. The floor. Right in his corner as well. It's really smart. Now we are looking at ACOS here, so we have got head strikes on, on the ground again. And this is a smart position to be in, you know, pressuring not only against the cage as a whole, but, you know, with your corner there. Straight to mount with his back guitar. Now the, the mount in A-class really changes here, doesn't it? These, the volume of strikes is what usually gives guys issues here. Because intelligence doesn't defense. move, he's going to get stopped. He needs to intelligently defend himself. That doesn't mean covering up, it means making a move. Well, you know, there is the argument that he's posting and defending quite a lot of these strikes and nothing's hitting him clean. And he is still making movements. He's making a move. Bakhtar might want to just settle. You know, uh, maybe take some great vines and really pressure him with the hips. I think he's doing a great job of what he's doing at the moment. Then maybe I'm wrong. The ref will be looking closely at this, as you can see. And he's tapped to strikes. And Jordan has tapped to strikes, unfortunately. Look, it's a hard position to be in, in the mount. Oh, very much so, um, especially that early in the fight. Yeah, and you know, you're eating a lot of shots from that position. Nice, throw, uh, nice show of sportsmanship from the Renegade team. Yeah. That's what this is all about, especially, uh, especially at this level. Yes, good win for Bakita. He moves up now to three and three. Quite an impressive record for a young age. He is only 20. Right, this amateur game, it, it doesn't really matter sometimes how many wins or losses you have. It matters how many fights you've had, yeah. the experience. And sometimes it can be quite hard to gauge if you're going in there having one minute fights, you know, that are ending rather quickly. Uh, you might not get all the experience you want before you do make that decision to True. jump into the pros. Oh, we see some of the SPG guys earlier going out for the three rounds. Yeah, and it's always nice to see. I think it is important to kind of put those in the locker. Uh, you know, you can look back on it and say, yeah, I've been in there for three rounds. I, I, I can have the confidence to do that again. In the deep waters. Yeah. Fantastic performance by both young men there. And give a round of applause. 